Hey Glove Doctors! For those who watch my video Don't Go to Taiwan, you probably noticed the 3D volumetric light effect I used in the intro. Well, today I'm going to explain how I did that and I'm going to introduce other ways you can use those 3D light rays. But before I start, I'd like to thank Envato for sponsoring this video. This is the website where I bought the After Effects templates I use for this effect. There, you can basically find everything you need to get creative projects done. Graphic templates, stock videos and photos, music tracks, you name it. If you're interested in the service, you can either download individual assets on Envato Market or you can subscribe to Envato Elements for unlimited use. And the good thing is I could negotiate a special discount for you guys. Just use the link in the description below to get your first month for 960 instead of 34.80 euros. Okay, so this is what you get once you've downloaded the project. Uh, you get a compressed folder. So in this folder, you get After Effects projects. So you just need to extract the After Effects uh, projects. You also have tutorials that you can use. Um, so I already extracted the After Effects project, so I'm just gonna open it. And I also already linked Premiere Pro um, uh, composition. I used the dynamic link just to bring like uh, my edited raw footage, you know. This is the raw footage without uh, the effect applied. It's pretty cool, but uh, I'd like to have a few extra light rays, you know. I'd like to emphasize that light uh, coming uh, from the top of the trees. The footage is already in the put source um, composition. It's really simple. You just have to import uh, the footage, click right and import, and you import your, the footage you want to edit. Once you have that footage, you just drag and drop it right here. Well, I don't need to do that because it's already in here, but just to show you. Basically, then you go to light composition. Uh, so this is the footage without edit. And I just need to activate those layers. And boom, here is the edited footage with the light rays. Uh, yeah, so I think it really, really looks like really cool. Um, you can tell it's uh, not uh, so organic, but if it's like a very short shot, I don't think anyone can actually tell it's not organic because it's really well made. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the simple things you can do with this uh, effect. And now I'm gonna close this project and uh, go to the other projects I used to create the, the intro in my uh, video, Don't Go to Taiwan. And if you haven't seen it, just click uh, over there. Okay, so I opened my uh, After Effects project with the uh, intro effect. So basically, this intro has three parts. So I'm gonna go back to Put Source, where I uh, put, uh, well, the raw footage, I would say, without the effect. So there is the first part uh, focusing on my hands, as you can see. Second part is the follow shots right here of me entering uh, the door. And third part is a uh, hyperlapse going backward. But I managed to like, you know, have approximately the same frame. But as you can see, it's very different because in the first one you have myself in the middle. And on the second one, the doors are more open and there is actually our guide, uh, Gordon, right here. I'm gonna have to hide all this uh, with the lights, which is good because that's the point of this uh, tutorial. I cannot go into details and do it all over again because it's gonna take like way too much time. I think this tutorial is gonna be really boring for you guys, but I'm gonna try and uh, break it down in a few steps. So first step, of course, is gonna be the first part, uh, focusing on my hands. I'm gonna go to light, the light composition. The main difference between this shot or these shots and the one with the trees that I showed you earlier is that there is no light source like there is no actual light source in the footage like as you can see there's no light coming out of the doors. Uh, there's no like clear or white area because usually the effect identifies uh, the light areas and that's where the light rays come from. So in this case, I'm gonna have to create uh, the source of light. This is gonna happen in the light map uh, composition. So you can already see what I did. So I'm just gonna hide it just so you see what I did is I created a white solid right here that follows the like opening of the door, okay? So that the light rays come from this, this part, okay? So I'm gonna hide it and show you how I did that. It's very simple. So basically I created a new solid, a white solid. 
so I'm gonna call it lights. Sorry, everything is in French, but uh, I guess you guys can understand. So lights, right here. I'm gonna reduce the opacity uh, just so I can see like what's behind it. I click on the layer, take uh, this tool, and then it's pretty simple. I'm gonna go where we can Gonna reduce the opacity to zero you cannot see see it so well but it's right here okay so basically what i do is i create a mask over the solid i'm gonna change the feather of the mask right here and then i'm gonna click on the uh, mask path i think that's it in uh, english I'm gonna add a keyframe and I'm gonna go back to the first part and just move the mask over there. I'm gonna click on lights, yeah, because if you remain on uh, mask path like, and you try to move the points, it's moving everything. So you have to actually click on lights right here. I'm gonna zoom a bit and I'm gonna just make it very, very, very thin, like this. Okay, you can change the mask path uh, to make sure like the light source follows the opening of the door, um, like very precisely. So once this is done, so I'm gonna delete this one, okay? And I'm gonna just keep the, the better one, the one that I did in the first place. So once you have this, here is the results in the light uh, composition. So I'm just gonna remove these layers so you have a better idea. The, the effect identified the light source, as you can see, so it's gonna create the light source right here. But as you can see, it's not um, good enough because, well, for starters, the effect is uh, applied on all the footage, so the clear parts of my hand are also having light rays. That's the first thing to fix. And also, as you can see, while well, the light rays are not so precise. So what I did is I uh, created duplicate layers of uh, the footage right here. So the first one is here. And what I did is I rotoscoped my arm, as you can see it's in the effects right here so I'm just gonna show you how it's done so I'm just gonna duplicate this layer okay and uh, just remove the effect to do it all over again I'm gonna remove also the, the lumetry and like the color correction so actually it's way easier to see at the moment yeah Basically to rotoscope, uh, it's very simple. You just take the tool right here and you select the layer to which you want to apply it. You double click on it and then you select the area that you want to select. So in this case, it's only my arm right here, uh, the shirt also. And usually it does a pretty good job. Uh, in this case, it selected the area under my arms. You, you hold Alt and then you deselect by clicking right here. This is pretty good. And then what you do is you just move a frame further, another frame further, until the shape is not good and then you correct. There is this area down that I want to deselect. So I'm just gonna hold Alt and deselect it. You move frame by frame and you try and have the best rotoscope you can get. Once this is done, so I'm just gonna delete uh, this layer or just go back okay so back to light composition so there you have it just so you guys see the difference with the rotoscoped arm and without it so this is without the light rays go over my arm so it doesn't work but with a rotoscoped arm on top of it it's good but there is one thing we have to fix again the light rays coming from my hand you know and this is gonna be very easy so this is this layer and we just need to mask uh, the door actually well this part so once again I'm gonna duplicate it so you guys uh, have a better idea of what I did so duplicate I'm gonna remove uh, the mask right here 
let me just remove the rotoscope arm. You just remove this layer, okay. You select this tool and then that's pretty much the same as uh, creating the lights. You just try and create a mask that follows the shape of, of the door like this and then you select like this and same just on the mask layer you just add a keyframe to the mask path and then I'm gonna go to the end and just make sure that the mask path is uh, the right place okay here approximately okay and so once again I'm not gonna do it so precisely but you get the idea if at some point uh, the mask doesn't really follow the door you just need to add a keyframe on mask path and also uh, don't forget to add some feather uh, so it looks more organic you know so I hope you got the idea but basically I'm just gonna go back so that's pretty much it actually for the first part. Um, as you can see, once you've created uh, your light source uh, and once you've rotoscoped the arm and masked the part with my hand and the door, well, you got your effect. It's pretty obvious that it's a post-production effect, but I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's it for the first part. Uh, now we're gonna head to the second part. Uh, there's no actual light coming out of the doors. So once again, we're gonna have to create the source of light. So just so you see how it is without the effect. There's no light coming out of the door. So you actually have to create the source of light right here. I'm gonna go to light map. And this is where the magic happens. So as you can see in the light map, composition I created another white uh, solid I don't think I need to explain uh, how to do it again because I already showed you how to create uh, like a solid to mask it and so to make sure it follows like where the light would come from basically what I did is I just added three keyframes one at the beginning here and one here and it kind of follows the opening of the door pretty smoothly so yeah and in the end I really want it to disappear in the light. I just made sure the shape would be circular. And also the important thing uh, is to add a mask over myself because if I don't have the mask over myself, I'm just gonna remove it. And so you guys see how it looks. Well, the light is over me, so it doesn't work. So basically what you need to do is um, go to light map, and what I did is I created a solid layer and I uh, pre-composed it. I'm gonna go into the pre-composition so that you guys can see what I did. So I brought the actual footage in the pre-comp right here. So I could actually uh, mask myself out. Without the footage, of course, it's gonna be hard to uh, mask. And on the solid, I created a few different masks actually for each part of my body, for uh, the, the arm right here, for the arm right here, for uh, the top of the body, and for uh, the two legs. So it was a very long process uh, because I had to create mask for uh, every frame so that it really follows my movement. The tricky part is actually when I wanted to disappear in the lights. It's not that complicated, but I had to work something out. So basically what I did is I added a keyframe uh, right here, as you can see, for uh, the feather of the mask. So I added the keyframe on all the masks. It was at 10 pixels. And I also added a keyframe for uh, the mask expansion. So the next keyframe for the feather goes right here. It's on 70 pixels. And in the end, I added a keyframe for uh, the mask expansion at minus 50 pixels so that the mask uh, progressively disappears. The red mask is becoming blurry, blurry, the more blurry and well actually at some point it disappears and this is how I disappear in the lights. I hope this was clear. I'm really sorry I uh, didn't do it all over again but seriously like this uh, this effect took me several hours. I think it would have been pretty boring for you guys uh, to watch me do it all over again and to be honest I'm way too lazy to do it. The main thing you need to remember is uh, the light map. This is the most important thing in this uh, 
After Effects uh, templates. Basically, the light rays are gonna come from the light map, the parts where uh, it's, uh, I would say, the closer to white. In the compressed folder, you have a bunch of tutorials. So this is why I didn't go too, uh, in details into the controls, like uh, how to change your light rays, to change the flare and all, because it's already uh, detailed in the, um, in the tutorials included in the pack. I hope this tutorial was uh, useful. To be honest, uh, I really like this uh, effect. I think it's really, really, really efficient when you actually have footage with uh, a real light source, like a clear sky or, you know, uh, stuff, stuff like that. It's a real bargain for the price. You should definitely try it out because it's it can really enhance a lot of your footage. That's it for this tutorial. Remember to like and leave a comment if it was useful. It's always motivating to read positive feedback and see you soon for more making up videos.